What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd. Today we're gonna to be talking about a subject that a lot of you have requested that I talk about and that's how to not end up with someone that you will regret slash hate being with, okay? This is, this is a pretty big problem. An understandable fear that a lot of guys have because in the modern day era, I mean, we're getting a lot of people in relationships where, you know, later on down the line, they're splitting up. It can be a very expensive mistake and not just financially, but also emotionally too. And, you know, I'm seeing more and more guys kind of get their lives ruined. Women too, women too. Um, and it's just a really sad thing to see when this is happening. So if you're worried about this, it's understandable, but don't worry. In this video, if you watch to the end, I'm gonna be telling you all the ways that you can avoid this type of situation. I'm gonna be saying, number one, why this, this, why this problem is so prevalent. Number two, what are the common pitfalls that guys fall into that make, them, make this a problem for them? Uh, and number three, how you can never have this happen to you again. If you follow the things I'm saying, I'm serious, you will never have this happen, okay? So follow what I'm saying in this video. <laughs> Easier said than done. Okay, so before I get into this, you guys, I'm super excited to be announcing that I'm finally gonna be coming out with a product. You guys have sent me tons of messages about this. Uh, yes, I am coming out with something that's gonna be great. It's gonna have a lot of stuff that I can't show here, like infield footage. So if you wanna get notified about that, help me create it. Um, you can select what you want in it. And then also, too, you're gonna get some bonus videos as well, too. There's a link in the description box below there. Click on it, sign up, um, and then you'll get notified. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is why it's so prevalent. Okay, in today's society, we have a 50% divorce rate. It's, you know, around there hovers between 45 and sometimes I've seen some studies say it's even higher. Okay, we have a very, very high divorce rate in this country, in the Western society in general. And what's really interesting is if you look at the, the actual data about where these divorces are coming from. Two out of the three of these divorces are initiated by the woman. The woman wants to leave the man. And now, why is this? Well, it's because she's not satisfied in the relationship and she must not be really satisfied because most of these women are not leaving the men in their prime. They're leaving them when they're in their mid 30s, 40s, and even later, okay? So like clearly they don't respect this person. And a lot of times what happens is that the guy takes such a long time to recover after because he usually gets blindsided. He usually has no idea this is happening. And so from there, you know, I end up getting a lot of these guys as my students. I, I know how painful it is for some of them. I know how hard it is to move on. And it is definitely possible, you know, being a guy, you have the benefit of, you, you get better with age, you know? A lot of guys don't hit their peak until they're in their early 40s, late 30s, and even beyond, you know? Being a guy is great, but, in these circumstances, I find that there's a lot of men that need a lot of help, okay? Especially they make really, really poor decisions that put them in this position. So I don't want you to be one of these guys. I don't want you to have to go through that, you know, having to lose your kids, having to pay money for the rest of your life to this woman, dealing with the emotional turmoil of having someone that you thought you were gonna spend the rest of your life with or thought you were gonna create something with, just have it ripped from you, you know? The story of your life is essentially shattered. You know, that's painful for men and women, you know, and basically if you do these things, a lot of, it's not going to happen to you if you have a lot of these things. So the first thing that I would recommend that you have is options, okay? Have options. Too many guys get into these relationships because they're in scarcity. Like they, they don't really have anybody else that they can turn to. They meet one pretty girl and they think that, okay, you know, she has some flaws, but we can change those in the future. No, <laughs> people do not change as much as you think they're going to. It's my job to change people for a living. I know how much people can change and they only change if they want to change. And typically people do not want to change because you want them to, okay? So you have to accept them for who they are as they are and chances are that's gonna be the person that you're with. If you can't accept them for who they are as they are, Find someone who you can. The problem is that most guys don't have that option to do that. They just, they get one girl and then that's who they pick and then they try and stick with them and they think, okay, well, we'll it'll get better as things go on. No, it won't. No, it won't. Okay, but if you had five options and one of them was shitty, you probably wouldn't pick the shitty option. You'd probably pick some of the other ones that were better for you, okay? So, like, most of what I talk about on this channel is designed to give you guys more control and freedom in your dating life, to be able to date the people that are the best people for you, okay? To date those girls or maybe even have more girls in your life so you can make the right decisions. It's all designed for this. So watch a lot of these other videos on my channel. Go out, make an effort, and above all, put yourself first. 
Too many guys I see them putting their partner above themselves. Do not do that. She does not want to be with a guy who's not putting himself first because that guy is eventually going to dip down and she's going to be with some lame loser. Okay, She doesn't want that. It, don't do it for your mother or your father or your family or your friends or the culture or society. I see a lot of guys, what happens with them, they hit the age of 30 or something like that and they go into panic mode where they feel like now they got to get married. Okay, no, dude. <laughs> 30 years old is a great age for a guy. 36 years old is a great, 40 is a great age for a guy. Even beyond that is a, are, are great ages for guys. I see too many, and it's such a shame that people have this narrative in their head where they have to have be married and have kids just because a few of their friends have done that as well too. And, or, or even worse, maybe their family or their culture or their, you know, their religion is pressuring them into these situations um, where they don't want to be there, okay? So if you're pressure to do this, or you're pressured to do something that you don't want to do, please explain to your parents, your friends, or whoever it is that at the end of the day, them pressuring you is only going to hurt everybody in the long run. Because let's say you get with a girl who you don't like, three years down the line you get divorced, it's super messy, and everyone's unhappy. Like, no one, no one wins. No one wins it, especially not you. And if they don't accept that explanation from you, well then fuck them. Find somebody else who will. So make a pros and cons list and put yourself the only factor that matters in this pros and cons list. These things should be pros and cons for you and you alone. I recommend this for not just men, but also for women too. <laughs> okay, so put yourself first. And the other thing too is I, I know some of you guys I know some of you guys are coming to me like, well, that's easy for you to say, Lloyd. You're not, you're not experiencing the same pressure as me. I'm not, but I have experienced a lot of pressure in the past too. And some of you guys are also saying, hey, listen, Lloyd, it's cool for you to say that you have options, but I don't have any options right now. I'm in a tough spot. It's really, it's, it's really tough for me. I, I, I can't do the things that I want to do. Maybe in the future I might, but right now I'm still putting those girls on a pedestal and it's still really hard for me. Okay, Even if you don't have any options, even if you're feeling a lot of pressure from people, Okay, the important thing for you to realize is you need to be okay being by yourself. You need to be okay being alone. I prefer to be with other people. I prefer to have a girl that I like. I love having a girl that I like. I think it's great. I like it, man. I get, that, I get those butterflies. The sex is awesome. I'm skipping around. I'm smiling all the time. But even if I don't have that person, I'm still smiling. I'm still, <laughs> I look kind of pissed off all the time. Believe it or not, I do, I do actually smile. <laughs> uh, but I'm happy, I'm good. I'm already good before the woman comes into my life. If somebody comes into my life, they better make my life better because my life is already pretty good. So that bar is naturally there. I don't really have to think and second guess and worry about me trying to, uh, me getting with a person that's gonna end up backstabbing me in the future because I already know that I'm comfortable at the end of the day being alone. And I know that's scary for some people. I know that's hard for you. If you're in a really, really bad place, you're looking for anything to take you out of it. So a lot of times guys get real depressed and like they blame the girl for making them into this bad spot. And I've been there, dude. I've been, I've been suicidal after a girl dumps me. It wasn't the girl's fault. I was already in a bad spot and the girl basically just gave me a glimmer of happiness and I held on to it like my life depended on it and when it left, I felt like my life was over. Okay, so make sure that you're comfortable being by yourself. Do things that make you feel good. Go out there, work on yourself, improve yourself, and go out and get options. Remember, put yourself as number one. And you know, if you're comfortable in this position, if somebody comes in, they are almost guaranteed to be a good fit for you, okay? So thanks a lot, you guys. If you made it to then consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. And look, man, if you're looking to get coached by me one-on-one, -on -one, you're looking how to actually have this happen in your life, um, be mentored by me personally, there's a form in the description box below. Click that form, fill it out, and we'll get back to you. Thanks a lot, you guys.